tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present Vegas Talk. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Jason Outlaw, Preston Nelson, Andy Donahue, Rose Rose, and music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest from Throat In, Sean Darling. From Mentor Empire, Chad Taylor. For your entertainment, Mike Xavier. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who voted yes on no, Mr. Jason Outlaw. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for coming out, everybody. So uh, our first guest is an entrepreneur and a founder of Mentor Empire. Please give it up for Chad Taylor. Thank you, Clay. Thanks for having me. Coming out, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. It. How you doing today, man? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah. How are you? I'm all good. Another day in good. paradise. First, I want to say thank you for coming out. You know, you and all your friends, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, and the stuff that you have going on, I'm really proud of y'all. Thank you, you know? for having us. Yes, yeah, no problem. It very much. So, uh, Empire, Mentor Empire, what is it? Mentor Empire is actually a sales for social impact program, uh, sales for social impact company. Right. Uh, founded about five years ago based on the need that I believe, and a lot of us believe that mentoring, one-to-one -one peer mentoring is a way to change the world in which we yeah. live every day. Right, right, right. right. That's like, <clears throat> in the age that you're a mentor, you was telling me uh, earlier, it's like 16 to 24? Uh, 16 to 24 is our core demographic, core yes. Why, why that age bracket? Uh, so it touches close to my heart, number one. Mm -hmm. I think I started losing direction around 13, 14 years yeah. old, and had I had the right people behind me around yeah. that time, mm -hmm. I probably would have took a different direction than I had taken. Yeah. So uh, it kind of touches yeah. close to the heart. And I can understand. 16 <laughs> to 24 is like, you know, that's when uh, you start to see the ladies like, you know, the ladies right. is looking very pretty. And drugs and the and rest of the everything, stuff. Everything, everything. <laughs> right. Uh, Mentor Empires, that's a nonprofit uh, program? So it's not. So Mentor Empire is actually a for-profit clothing company, okay. which is a funding arm for the Taylor Foundation, which... When I started the foundation five, uh, six years ago, right. after um, I had sold a printing company of mine, I went out to the community and asked for money to help the foundation. Yeah. And what I got was, how does it help our bottom line? Yeah. And I couldn't explain that. Yeah. And I said, well, it doesn't. It just helps other people and it helps us mentor. Uh, but unless it helped in a certain manner, yeah. other people didn't want to help. So yeah. I said, well, let's just create something that funds it ourselves. What made you say on that day, I want to create this mentor empire and make it to what it is now? Like, what made you say that? Because everybody had that thought, like, even with ideas, like, they came to that final conclusion saying, I want to do this. So what made you say that? Like, I want to make mentor empire clothing. Yeah. So I felt like a lot of people wanted to, to mentor, yeah. right? A lot of people wanted to help other people but didn't know how to. Right. So I thought, what is one of the most powerful mediums in the world that we live today mm -hmm. and humans need one of five things yeah. and one of those five things is clothing yeah. so being from the print and marketing world mm -hmm. in which where I come from mm -hmm. uh, I think that clothing is one of the most powerful when you look at someone's clothing you ask them what their hat means or you ask them what their shirt means and you, and you actually engage in a conversation so mm -hmm. I, I felt that it can bring on that one-to-one -one engagement yeah. if they see the shirt I agree because at an age where uh, yeah that's a noise of that yeah yeah at an age where so many, uh, we're now living in that social media age where it's right. different from, I was born in 1990 and a little you know, more older than me, but uh, I, I remember a time where technology wasn't as big and now that technology is so big, people, it's just gullible, I'm gonna say gullible, but they're more inclined to really just see what's on the internet, you know, so the fact that you have something mentor, mentoring people and also having a product behind it, uh, that's very good, you know, and, you know, I um, really appreciate it. Like, right, much, I appreciate like, it. Well, what's yeah. hard is, uh, came out before us, is it Sean that was yeah. up here before us? Uh -huh. So how do you make the word mentor cool? That's yeah, a that's difficulty, deep. right? Like it's something we know that we all need, right. but how do you make it cool? Right. Uh, and that's a challenge, and that's what we've been working on for the last five years. And right. I grew up snowboarding. I'm from San Diego, mm -hmm. surfing. I've been here for 20 years. Mm -hmm. But 
we really have to get across that, that having guidance and having someone to teach you either how to navigate right. and not commit the same, um, make the same mistakes that you made mm -hmm. or how to achieve those um, pinnacles that somebody else has achieved. You need somebody to show you how to do that. Yeah. You can't teach a young person that a mentor is cool, yeah. but we can make it cool if we try. Mm -hmm. So I saw like, your logo here mm -hmm. on the top of their tent, so maybe we can talk to them later about how we get our logo there. Right, yeah. We'll make, <laughs> make that happen. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Right. How many different mentors is part of uh, the program? So we've been building for about five years the entire mm -hmm. program and how it looks. Right. It's very delicate, especially when you work with youth. Right. Um, I personally don't say this very often in public, but I'm going to say it today. I was sexually assaulted when I was young. Oh, nice. So one of the reasons that I stick to 16 and above yeah. is because I don't work with younger because there's more professional people that can do that. Right. It, it still, yeah. still messes with me yeah. a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. So we yeah. hire out other people to do that. So we have like, uh, at this point, after the last month and a half, we have 100 mentors, and we're gaining every day right. here in Las Vegas. Right. I think that if we can get to about 20,000, which is 1% of Las Vegas You'll population, we can turn the 50% uh, dropout rate mm -hmm. and change it just like we can do recidiv recidivism to about 80%. So I think we can change it by about 30%. Nice, 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 yeah. nice, 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 nice. Uh, like sometimes th I'm trying to get into the mentor myself. Uh, back in Philadelphia, where I'm originally from, like I work with a lot of younger kids, me, my mom, aunts, uncles, and uh, we want to make it where we want to mentor a lot of kids so they can have the right direction. So they can f instead of following, uh, you know, James, the drug dealer, or you know, something that's that's going to put them on the wrong path. Or right. what's trending now is everybody gang banging, which is I think is silly. Right. Uh, I want to make it where I can always send books to people. Uh, Every month, I like to send them fresh clothing, hangs, you know, socks, underwear. You know, you'd be surprised people don't really have uh, fresh underclothes. Basic necessities. Basic stuff, basic stuff, you know. Right. Toothbrushes, you know, washcloth, that little stuff for the children. You know, they might not appreciate it in the long run, but they could be like, you know. Uh, it helps. Yeah, it helps, you know. It helps. It really does. And uh, also, too, you partnered up with uh, Larson Training Center. Correct. That's even deeper. Like, just yeah. elaborate on that, because I, you know, t talking to the 16 and 24 is good. Right. They have a lot of opportunity available for them, but the Larson Training Center that's more w affecting us now. Yeah. So there's a lot of us. Larson, for those of you that don't know what Larson Training Center is, uh, Ed Bevilacqua from Larson Training Centers, mm -hmm. which is in the uh, building today. He's he, here. He's, he's here. I, I don't know if he had to run or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's very busy. Yeah. They have five campuses now in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. So we set up to teach hard skills, typing, the Google Cloud, anything that'll help you actually get a job yeah. and work with anybody that comes out of state and federal prisons. So I'm a convicted felon. Yeah. I was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, we're, we're <laughs> yeah, rehabilitated. <laughs> the funny thing is, is you listen, you watch the elections, right? right. You watch like the president is like, ah, oh, and the news is like, ah, oh, it's another criminal and a convicted felon. And I'm right. thinking to myself, uh, I got two kids, a wife, a house, a couple cars, three businesses. <laughs> I'm a convicted felon, but right. that's not me. Right, right. right? <laughs> betrayed, betrayed. Big time, big like, time. Like, yeah. I, I, I had good people to help me out of that. So, mm -hmm. so you ask why this touches me and yeah. where that is, is... If it wasn't for the mentors, if it wasn't for the people that I looked at and knew there was somebody out there, maybe I could ask this guy how to do this, right. and this one, and this one, and the next one. And I just kept asking, and they kept helping. And after like 15 years, I look back and I go, I can take like 20 people, right. I can pull a word, right. whether it's integrity, honesty, valor, right. commitment, you name it, and I can send them a product and be like, here's a mentor hat. Thank you for teaching me that word. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's important, and that's what we need to do every day. And how would you know someone's going to help you unless they were wearing it on their body? Right. You could reach out and be like, hey. What's this about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Make some noise for that. So like I said, yeah. I appreciate what you're doing. And yeah. just to let you know, like, uh, like it's major, you know. Uh, I think the people who, uh, a lot of people being glorified for the wrong things. And uh, right. a lot of people think uh, nowadays they think they run stuff. Uh, the ones who take care of the children, you know, yeah. to motivate the children. For, for the older people, you want to get that respect, them th the thumbs up for the older guys. You know the grandpops and stuff like that. You want them right. to look at you and say, "I like what you're going, like like what you're doing, supporting." For the younger people, you want some, you want them to follow you, right. you know, and believe in what you have going on. So they know, they know if they make the wrong decision. They could be like, "No, that's not right." Ex you know, my mentor told me that wasn't right, and uh, you are right. a mentor, and uh, I'm 
proud of you. Good job. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank, thank you very you much. Very much. Yes, sir. And uh, we're looking for anybody local in Las Vegas. Yeah. We're, like I said, we're trying to build 20,000 mentors. So go to, go to Mentor Empire, sign up, and then we'll find something that fits you, whether yeah. it's working for the guys coming out of the prison, yeah. Hope for Prisoners, uh, whether it's, uh, what's, uh, Ed has the names of some of them on the site. Right. But sign up, let's find what fits you, whether it's going into the high schools, whether it's going for Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Yep. The fact is, just do something. Yep. Even if it's just four hours a month. I'm just down, yeah, I'm, I'm down. Four hours. Give, I'm, give, sign up, give us four I'm hours, in. and it will humble you, and, and you work with some people and realize what life's really about. Right on. Thank you, right. man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Always. Right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Vegas Talk. Our next guest is bringing the heat, height, and snow to Las Vegas. Let's find out where we can catch iconic bands and extreme pro athletes all under one roof. Help me welcome Sean Darling. Hey, yeah, yeah, Hi. nice to meet you, nice welcome. to meet you. Have a seat. Uh, welcome, Sean. How's it going? Got to you know keep that is. mountain man yes. look, you know. I was trying to go with that also. Snow shave November, so you got to keep it rocking. I was going with that also, the theme. Well, you're a snowboarder. Yes. Who got involved in your own entrepreneurship through Park Fab? Yes. Explain to me what that is. Well, Park Fab is a fabrication to event company. It's all driven off the love and passion that I've had in the industry. Um, um, from snowcat operating to welding and fabricating of the snowboard features to doing events as well. Um, me and Keith Failer uh, started this journey with these events that we started uh, at the original Park Jam downtown right here in the parking lot. Right, um, last year, this around this time, right? Was yeah, it this uh, time last January year? last in year. January last year. Uh, yeah. There was a whole half pipe and snow right here on Fremont Street. Oh, yeah. Um, the first park jam we did right here in the parking lot, and then we moved up the next year to right here in the street, and now it's down to the Las Vegas Throwdown over at the event center. So It's getting bigger. It's, it's getting much bigger, much bigger. People are biting on it. Everyone's loving it. We're getting sponsorships all over. You know, the D got us involved and uh, contacted us, and we're putting all of our little special talents together that we have to create another awesome event. So you fabricate these half pipes and park type themes for snowboarding and BMX and skiing, right? Yep. Um, it's in the convention center. You're going to have an event on the 12th of November, 12th which of is November, uh, this weekend. And you know, what, what got you into this? I know you're a snowboarder. Are you a welder by trade? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, what got me into it is growing up snowboarding. It's a huge passion of mine. It's like, it's my love of my life, and that's what we like to do. Um, so I found a way. I knew I couldn't be a professional snowboarder, so I find a way I can work in the industry and get paid to snowboard, but in a different way. Nothing's better than driving a snowcat, building jumps, and then going to hit it. It's a whole it's a whole rush, and people that do it know the feeling. Keith knows the feeling. He was a huge inspiration to me um, On in the snowcat, taught me everything I know. And we're just out there kind of chasing our dream and trying to get known and we love the downtown area, and we're just trying to, you know, show our love and passion for the city and bring snow to Vegas. You brought snow. You brought pro athletes. Yeah, it's exciting, right? So you brought snow. You brought pro athletes and some bands as well. What are some of the bands? It's kind of like a mini music festival with all of this awesome extreme uh, sports going on around yes, you, right? Yes, there will be uh, 60 pro athletes. Um, we have 20 skiers, 20 snowboarders, and 20 BMXers. TJ, TJ Ellis, Daniel Sandoval, all these X Games do tour medalists, Nick Gaper, Alex Sculpey, they're all do tour X Games, and Olympian skiers. Jaeger Bailey, Dennis Bonus is coming out from Russia just to ride in this event. Wow. We got Split Breed, we got local DJ uh, Shred coming out. He's at one of our uh, in house people who's local all around here and we just it's family fun entertainment it's ten dollars veterans get in free active military and children under 12 it's only a ten dollar entry you can right. you can upgrade to vip and get drinks all night and there's there's props and bonuses uh pole position we'll have go-kart racing under the tent no a full, way. full vendor village willie vegas is going to be out there um we're gonna have boulder boats we're gonna it's gonna be a, just a awesome fun action-packed event and then right in the middle of the festival we'll pull trucks in and i'll blow 40 tons of ice on this so there's, mountain. it's going to be snowing in las vegas yes and uh 
We, uh, we do a unique style with the way we build our mountain. Um, it's, pretty, it's all built out of Connex boxes, shipping containers. Um, oh, wow. So I do all that. I fabricate everything. Um, they'll be launching over a big off-road truck, and there's four features, and it's, some guys are going to get some Speaking hang time. Speaking of fabricating things, um, we have a few slides with some of the stuff that you fabricate. So, yeah, this is your logo. Yep, lo Park Fab Failure Productions. I'm the fabrication builder of all of it. Keith's behind the scenes making the events happen. How long have you been fabricating for? I've been fabricating for over eight years, and it's always been a hobby of mine. And I build I rock crawlers back in Colorado and do artsy type stuff and then I just you know and I brought it into this industry as well and utilize it so and this is last year right yeah this here is in last year park jam Inspire theater right, right here in yeah. front of the whole venue um that's the Zappos park jam you know we had 4,000 people come out to that and that was just an epic turnout um and it's all evolving um this was the second one of two the first one was in the parking lot a little bit smaller but as the years go on they're getting bigger and like I said now with the downtown event center and uh, the D jumping on board um, and wanting. Yeah, this was no joke. I remember walking outside when you guys were blowing snow on that, and I was like, this is huge. This is a really big, this is a really big ramp. Does anybody ever get hurt at your events? You know, we don't want people getting hurt, but there's always that chance that they can. Um, like I said, we're with these top riders out here, and you know, are they competing? Are they out here competing? Is yeah, that there's what the over draw like is? 20 grand in cash prizes okay. for them. So wow. they're all they're all going to be. Okay. They're all going to be throwing down for the throwdown, and uh, so how it's all going to work out is the snowboarders will go, and they'll be their top three, and they'll be rewarded, and then the skiers will go in their top three. Then we're going to take the top six skier and snowboarders to battle for the ultimate throwdown champion against each other. Against each other on the same course. On the same course. Wow. So, so how did you get to compete? Like I snowboard, like I've, you know, gone up to Mount Charleston and done the bunny hill and a little <laughs> bit of the blue diamond course, triangle. <laughs> well, I uh, want, I want to hold the check. Like I want to win the check. Well, there'd be some areas where you could pick up the snow, make a little snowman or something. But, um, so all, and all, all this is, uh, Invite only professional riders, you know, we're putting on a show and we want these guys to throw down and I want people landing tricks and not wrecking. Um, we got people coming from all around the country, some in the right. world, and it's, it's going to be an epic turnout. I mean, for 10 bucks, you can't beat it. Bring your family down, um, have fun. There's, you know, there's going to be a lot going in, going on in that area and there's going to be, it's just going to be a day of fun and it's, the gates open at, I think, 11, and we're going till 1 a.m. at night. So it's a whole music festival, action sports. Wow, it's a whole day. So 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. on yeah. November 12th at the convention center here in Las Vegas. Yeah, the downtown event center, right. the outdoor facility. So. Okay. Um, now, a little bird told me that you are going to have a show on CBS Sports. Is that true? Yes, CBS Sports is supposed to air and make a six episode or four episode TV show of the event and the build and the lifestyle that we're all creating and just the, the fun atmosphere of this and for them to jump on huge for us and huge for the city. And uh, I think it's gonna turn out great because everyone that's involved with this event is all in it with their love and their passion and their hearts. Right. And, and we're all just good people trying to prove ourselves. And I think this third one here is gonna prove us and put us on the map. And, get us to the next level. Right, and you're really well known in Utah and here in Las Vegas yeah. for a lot of the stuff yeah. that you've built. So this can get you on a national, international level. Yes, yeah, so we would like exciting. to, our goal is to take this event on the road, um, go to Oregon, um, Colorado. Um, eventually, our dream is Town Square. That's what we're going to shoot for one day, and then we're going to originally, Heck and yeah. then we're going to end it back here in Vegas where Watch it all out, started. Watch out, X Games. Somebody's nipping at your heels. All right? Yeah, be watching. <laughs> be watching. So, yeah, we want to take it on the road and, and, and do something big with it. And hopefully after this one, everyone sees how rad of the event and how rad of the people are that are doing it and want to be a part of it. And we can get more money and take this on and just keep driving with it. Well, it's exciting. It's exciting that you started it here in Las Vegas. So we're happy to support you. And I'll definitely be there on Saturday. But I have to ask you a would you rather question. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. So you have some really big professional athletes. Would you rather, if you had to, be the bike seat of TJ Ellis for the event or the right 
snow boot of Jaeger Bailey. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Nut For the sacker, entirety of nut the event. Nutsacker feet. So, um, Either way, it's going to be nasty, and uh, I'd probably go for I'd probably go for the boy Jaeger Bailey because he'll be hustling, and I know his feet will stink as bad as mine at the end of the day. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, aside from the <laughs> and then and everyone can check out the LasVegasThrowdown.com. You can see it on Facebook, Instagram, ParkFab as well, all through the social media. Um, you can hashtag follow the snowflake. That's my hashtag. Follow You'll the see snowflake, everything y'all. and where the snowflake goes. We'll have vendor booths. I'll have a vendor booth. You can buy gear, hats hoodies, beanies, stickers, whatever you would like. And um, I hope everyone comes out, enjoys the event, and it's it's going to be raw, in your face, and different than any event you can been to. I can guarantee that. And for 10 bucks, you ain't going to beat the price, and I guarantee oh, you're going to leave yeah. with a smile on your face. Sounds great. Well, we're excited to follow you. We're excited to see you grow, and um, we can't wa wait to watch you on CBS Sports as well. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks, Sean. it. Thank you. Oh, back. Are you constantly on the go with no time to prepare fresh, delicious meals? You've been meaning to meal prep, haven't you? Well, let Pollock Meal Prep do the cooking for you. Pollock Meal Prep is the newest Las Vegas-based meal prep service. No matter what your busy is, and I know we get busy, Pollock has you covered. We prep for those who work out, busy moms who want to eat better in their families, and people who just want better ingredients in their bodies. After all, you are what you eat. So what's your busy? Please visit us at www.potluckmealprep.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see what's cooking today. I created Potluck to help people be able to sit back and live. I strive to create fresh, delicious meals that you can enjoy on the go, in the office or at home, but always at your convenience. And as always, my meals offer healthier alternatives to pork and beef, so every meal for me is eating for a better life. So what's your busy? Log on to www.potluckmealprep.com and follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see what's cooking today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Xavier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Uh huh, yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Uh huh, listen. Yeah, I'm so obsessed with my dream that I can't sleep at night And though my past is full of darkness, I still see the light The type of father teaches son to treat a woman right So when he find himself a queen, she could be his wife That's sound advice, and if I give it, then I'm living by it They used to tell me, try them drugs, I ain't never try it I see my brother go through things that I don't want him to But still he taught me all these things that I should never do This is for you, my brother, know you got them demons in you But as of late, I can see you making changes in you I know you trying to make it better for your baby girl See we just gotta teach our kids They could change the world The only tears I bring my mama Is them tears of joy She said no matter what your age is You my baby boy This for the kids without a father Cause that road is rough And for the ones that got them parents That don't care enough Just hold on for that sunshine Woo! Yeah Yeah Just hold on for that sunshine Yeah Uh-huh Listen yeah, I know you stressing, feeling low, but you gon' be alright Cause best believe that God is good, you'll make it through the night Just hold on for that sunshine Oh, I love you guys, man, thank you, yeah Yeah, yeah See, this that music that so many artists never make I spit that real so you can feel it, let it resonate This for my students out there focused, trying to graduate And single parents working hard, serving dinner plates No time to waste, man, I'm all about that unity Cause it don't matter about your race if you come in peace And if your heart is filled with anger, may it set you free I'm out here grinding, trying to be the change you need to see I guarantee that you's a diamond, you can stand the pressure If he don't treat you like a queen, don't give up the treasure If she don't treat you like a king, you need to let her go If she don't care about your happiness, it's time to roll So if you stressing paying bills and that rent's due Remember this ain't even half of what you've been through You tell your kids that they can make it, so you gotta make it too Cause in the end, they'll be just like you so hold on for that sunshine Woo. Yeah, yeah Just hold on for that sunshine Uh-huh Listen, 
Yeah, I know you stressed and feeling low, but you gon' be alright. Cause best believe that God is good, you'll make it through the night. Just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give it up for Mike Xavier. Thank you guys so much. Awesome, Mike. Where can uh, people find more about your music? Uh, you guys can uh, find my music. Uh, you can go to my website. It's MikeXavierMusic.com. Mike, X-A-V-I-E-R, music.com. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew, and to all you Vegas talkers at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night, 9 p.m., right here at the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street. Party with us on the rooftop for the after party. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at Vegas Talk. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Peace, love, and be kind to one another.